we get to hear from Jim Ryan of ABC News, who's been there watching all of the stuff going on with the Olympics because, you know, we're busy people and we can't watch every moment, right? <laughs> That's right. Hey, Jim, good morning. Good morning. I know a lot of people are watching it, though, and they especially were perhaps yesterday when the women of the United States and the women of Canada were out there. What a game. Fight. Oh. Man. I mean, everybody, I think nobody's too surprised that it went into overtime. And to, to have it end the way it did was a real heartbreaker for the U.S., but they'll try it again four years from now. Yeah, uh, talk a little bit about how that game unfolded. Uh, well, the U.S. led for almost all the game, uh, right? To, it was leading 2-1 to one into the final minute of regulation. That, that one point that Canada scored came, I think, about three and a half minutes before the end. Canada scored the tying goal in that last minute. The game went into overtime, and at eight minutes, ten seconds, the Canadians slipped one past the American goalie and extended their streak of Olympic gold medals in women's hockey and broke the hearts of uh, women <laughs> hockey players everywhere. Yeah, it was, it was, I mean, it was, I was, I was watching that game uh, while I was having lunch and I just went, oh, no, really? That's, that's, that's so heartbreaking. Well, well the but. The hotel where I was, I mean, you know, it's full of Canadians and full of Americans. And, and as soon as that goal was scored, the whole place erupted in yelling and screaming and booing. I mean, from, from all, every room, I think, had some reaction to it. All right, but now hockey's on tap today. Again, it's the men's hockey in the semifinals against the Canadians. Uh, set that up for us. Yeah, and, you know, you have to assume that the, the, the uh, score last night is going to kind of energize, energize Team USA. You hope so, anyway. Now, you know, they saw what happened last night, and now the United States hopes to extend this. The men do uh, move past the semifinals and into the medal round, but, of course, they have to go through Canada to get there. So we'll see what happens this afternoon. It's two, two very closely matched teams, and, again, uh, no love lost between these two. Four years ago, it uh, went to Canada. The U.S. took the silver four years ago, and they want the gold this year. Hey, Jim, Dan Bongino here. A lot of interest in this hockey game, obviously. Uh, just for our listening audience, how do they stack up? I mean, what are our chances, the U.S.? Are they looking good? We haven't won a gold medal since the Miracle on Ice, I, I believe, right? <laughs> well, that wasn't even a gold medal round, you know. That was a right. preliminary round like today's is. So, uh, no, I mean, uh, it's going to be difficult. But uh, so far during these Olympics, the U.S. is undefeated. So maybe that will uh, lend them a little bit of strength out there as they uh, start to lace up their skates. Now, any spoilers for us today? I gotta oh, give hold, a, hold, uh, no, if, if you're going to give the spoilers, I have to take... Uh, yeah, we got to do the stick uh, for uh, Brian. We're going we're to give Brian the 3 2 one uh, count. Any spoilers uh, for us uh, today? And if you're listening, you don't want to hear it, turn it down. Uh, not yet. Okay. Oh, All right. Don't worry. Not yet. How did you know I said, Brian, no, you weren't listening. You had to be listening. Well, it's hard to put yeah, your fingers you. through your ears when you have Jim, headphones on. Jim, let me just to show you this. You said not yet. And he goes, okay. I thought he wasn't listening. <laughs> what, what kind oh, of... Dan, you're giving away the magic of radio. I, I knew it was, it was an act. I knew it. <laughs> All right. So uh, in addition to the hockey, what else is going on today? Well, men's curling is happening right now, and again, that's not going to affect the Americans. We've been out of it for a few days. The ladies' ski cross final is happening. No Americans there. Uh, the, the men's, and we've got the curling that happens almost all day long. The biathlon does have some Americans in it. The women's biathlon 4 by 6 k has some Americans you might want to watch. Uh, that comes this evening. Uh, the alpine skiing slalom run has a possibility for a few as well. It seems the U.S. has really done well in these X game style competitions. We saw that yesterday in the ski half pipe when uh, Matty Bowman of South Lake Tahoe got that uh, gold medal to uh, couple up with the uh, the men's ski half pipe. That went to David Wise. So yeah, the Americans doing well in those things. All right. So so what is the total medal count? I mean, how are we comparing to other nations? And then how many golds do we have compared to other nations? Very favorable at this point. We do have the United States has 25 this morning. Creeping up maybe a little. Germany used to have the, the lead in gold medal count. Now they're tied with us at eight. Norway has ten gold medals. But, I mean, I, I guess you can shape these numbers or quote the one that is most, most favorable to you and say the United States has 25 total medals at this point. So are we? Uh, that puts us at the top of the leaderboard yes. total medals? Yes. Uh, wow, it, that's awesome. The Russian and Federation has 23, so they're two behind the U.S. And how's that likely to hold up as we look forward? As, and, 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 you know, we're getting down to the sort of the end here. Uh, are we looking to do well in a lot of the things that are still outstanding? You know, I think so. Um, there will be a medal awarded in the, uh, uh, you know, in hockey over the weekend. We can only hope that we get past the semifinal today uh, to get into that medal round. Medals will be handed out today, as was, I said, in curling. Freestyle skiing, perhaps, if you start looking ahead to Saturday, 
uh, you know, the men's relay, we're not going to do anything there. That's the bi- biathlon that the U.S. really doesn't do, it, that never does anything. Um, ice hockey, the, uh, yeah, you know, I think that we still have a possibility to hang on to this lead and maybe build on it just a little bit uh, with some of the events that we traditionally have done well in. Hey, Jim, any uh, any breakout stars over there? I remember being in Salt Lake uh, for the, you know, the Utah Olympics and, Jimmy Shea was a United States uh, was a skeleton. I think he did won a gold medal and kind of was his breakout star. The press was following him everywhere. Anything yeah. like that going on over there? Well, yeah, I think the skeleton crew here has uh, has been good. You know, uh, Aaron Hamlin did extremely well. Um, if you look at somebody, you see doors open. Sean White was supposed to tear it up, right? Yeah. Uh, that didn't happen. Bodie Miller was supposed to tear it up. Ted Ligety instead comes from almost nowhere and does that. Uh, Andrew Weibrecht on the ski team as well. So I think that when, when these superstars start to fade just a bit, they open a door for somebody else, and that person cruises right in. All right. Given uh, the security concerns around there, and given the fact that we won't talk to you again, I guess, before the final ceremonies, uh, I get the sense that a lot of people are bailing out. And I mean, once you're done, I think they're getting out of Dodge. Is that your sense of it as well? Well, I, you know, I think we'll have a good sense of that today because... Um, Yesterday was the first day that the Russians were out of the hockey contention, the men's Russian uh, hockey team. Uh, and, and a lot of the people who are here, of course, are Russian. Seventy percent uh, of the tickets were sold to Russians because they're the host country. So if we see a, a big um, attendance drop-off in the numbers reported from yesterday, then I think you're right that uh, people are starting to leave if, if their favorite team doesn't go forward. So, you know, we'll find out. But I think that security is going to be tight no matter what. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, uh, thank you so much for all of your good work there, Jim. We greatly appreciate you being there for us every morning. Thanks, Jim. All right. Talk to you Monday.